In this video, I'm going to show you adjusting faders with the mouse wheel in Reaper. So I have a project set up here, and I want to ride some faders for volume, pan, or whatever, but I want to do it with the mouse wheel. As you probably know, the normal way to do it is just by grabbing the fader like this and moving it up and down. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come away. And the same thing for pan. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come away. My room is. Or if we open up the routing, you can grab the volume here. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come away. Or the pan. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue. Or if we create a send. We can adjust that by grabbing as well for volume or pan. Or if we use our mixer, we can just grab the fader. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. But we could also use our mouse wheel to do the same thing, if you prefer. But by default, it's turned off, but we can turn it on in our preferences. On PC, hit Control P, and on Mac, hit Command Comma. And that opens up our preferences, and we can scroll down under Editing Behavior to the mouse. And we can see right here, by default, it's going to ignore mouse wheel on all faders. And this is set up that way so you don't accidentally make a mistake. Because if we turn it off, hit OK and put our cursor anywhere over here, we could accidentally, with our mouse wheel, adjust our volume or our pan completely by accident. So that's why this checkbox is turned on by default. But if you want that functionality, at least temporarily, just turn it off in here, hit OK. Now we can use a mouse wheel or a trackpad with two fingers to adjust our volume. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way, my room is a mess. Or the pan. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. We'll go to the routing and do it here. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. Or the pan. Trees are in green. Or if we create a send, we could do it here for volume or pan for our sends. And also with our mixer. Just put our cursor right here and use the mouse wheel to adjust the fader. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. This will also work with effects. I have a compressor right here. I can put my cursor on this fader and readjust the threshold. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray. Or the makeup gain. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray. Or the attack, or release, or the ratio, or any fader in Reaper. Do the same with EQ. Now it doesn't work over here but it works over here. So if I want to readjust the frequency of my high pass filter, I can do it right here. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. Or adjust the shoving EQ. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. Or adjust my delay for its volume. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. Or my reverb. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. And again, any fader or knob in Reaper can be adjusted with a mouse wheel. As long as we turn off the preference right over here. And again, it's on by default, 
but we can turn it off when we want that functionality. And it's also gonna work for automating. So if I open up my volume envelope, let's open the mixer, switch the mode to write mode, I can write in automation using the mouse wheel. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand, my favorite TV show. Or the pan. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. And it automates any knob or fader we adjust. And when you're done, and you don't want to accidentally use the mouse wheel to change things, just turn this preference back on. Because again, it's on by default. So that's pretty much it. That's adjusting faders with the mouse wheel in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!